Hey guys, it is Alexis here and I'm doing a solo video for you guys because I've got asked so many times how the whole visa process goes and what it's like moving to Germany, Berlin, of course, because that's where I moved and I guess a lot of people want to come here, so which I totally understand because it's a really cool city. I highly suggest it. Uh, there's definitely some little things where you're like, uh, this is like a little difficult because obviously I don't speak the language. Um, I am taking German classes, which I'm actually going to tonight. In general, it's going really, really well. Um, obviously, the whole highlight of this experience is being with Lillian. If you're new to this channel, you probably don't know that me and my girlfriend, we are not in a long distance relationship anymore. Um, that went on for about two years and to say the least, it was totally fine. But now we're living in this like amazing apartment and you know, it just feels so surreal that we made this happen. I never thought that I would live in Germany ever. Um, but here I am and it's awesome. I always wanted to move somewhere um, outside of Canada, but I was never really sure. And I kept hearing all these great things about Berlin. I came to visit about like three or four times before moving. And I actually was pretty scared. I was kind of freaked out by the city. It was like really big and pretty grungy. And yeah, I always got like kind of this vibe that I didn't really, I wasn't sure of. But once I came here and really got to see Berlin, I got to kind of dive right in and experience it myself at my own pace. That's when I got to see the magic of the city because it is really cool and there is a lot happening here that you need to see. What I did was I packed all my things I got rid of a lot, like a lot. And before I even um, before I even found someone for my old room back in Toronto, I already booked a one-way ticket here. Um, that was pretty nerve-wracking because I was thinking, oh my god, like what if I don't sell all my things, like my bed, and what if no one wants my room and la 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 like all these things were going on in my head. But at the same time, you really have to remember that this is your life and you need to do what you have to do. You're meant to be blindfolded sometimes and be a little nervous and scared and that's totally natural and that's how you learn, right? Getting here. So I lived without a visa for three months in Copenhagen with Lillian. Amazing time, beautiful city, but I always had that kind of in the back of my head, like, oh my God, what about my visa? What after, after, after three months, I'm gonna have to move back to Canada and then do long distance all over again. I won't have a room. I won't have anywhere to, you know, actually live. The thing when you move here and you're trying to get your visa, you need something called an Almadon. I'm probably just completely butchering that word. You need this thing in order to have an address in Berlin. In order to have your visa, you need an address, you need your Amazon, la 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 la. You need like this whole package. A good way to get that is finding a sublet first. Even if it's like a room, whatever it is, we found a sublet that could sign the Amazon paper for us, for me to then have an address to then get a visa. When you go to these appointments, it's really, really great to have someone and really important to have someone who speaks German with you because a lot of the time, like I think it's probably like 95% of the time, they're gonna be speaking to you in German. And if you don't know German, make a friend, find someone who is able to go to these appointments with you. Luckily, I have my sweet, sweet angel Lillian with me. You just gotta try for it and you gotta be prepared and you gotta know the different steps and that's why I really hope this video helps you. You're all good. You got your Amadon, you got your visa. Uh, next step, job. You need a job, you need to pay your rent, you need to be able to go out and party, you need to be able to do the fun things that you wanna do that the city has to offer. What I did was I looked a lot on indeed.de, I believe. 
Another thing you do is there's so many, like I said, Facebook pages. So English jobs in Berlin, just like look it up. Boop. I think there's like four pages, different pages where they have job postings for people who speak English. I got two job interviews out of the, this Facebook group, both for cafes. You don't want to be too picky at the beginning, you know, like a job is a job. And like I said, you need to make money. For a cafe job, you need uh, something called a red card, which is pretty much like a food handler's certificate. So you go to this appointment, you sit down, it's like a big room. You all watch this video about how to wash your hands before you use food. You know, don't like sneeze into your hand. Very obvious things. That's that. At the end of the video, you, you pay for it. You're a red card. They give it to you and you just give it to your employer. That's if, if, like I said, if you're working with food in any type of way. When you have a job, of course you need somewhere to put your money. So I have this really cool bank that I'm with. It's called N26 and it's all on your phone. It's really, really easy. They send you a card in the mail. They do everything on your phone. It's really, really crazy. And I just got my first paycheck actually direct deposited into my bank account. I know that it's uh, gonna be a different experience for everyone, depending on where you're coming from, but this was just my insight from Toronto to Berlin and my experience. And uh, yeah, don't be nervous. It's super exciting. And if there is any little things that you wanna know that I might've missed that I could answer, then just leave your questions below. And of course, little side note, I wanted to say that thank you so much for being so interested and asking all these great questions. Um, I totally know what it feels like and I wish that I had a lot more videos to watch before I moved because I was looking for a lot and there really wasn't anything. Um, but yeah, I hope this video helps you guys uh, with the whole process and yeah, gives you a little more of like an insight of what it's like when you move abroad. Okay, thanks so much guys. Tschüss.